Unless you've been living under a rock, or maybe you're just not quite as degenerate as the rest of us that watch the stock market all day, you will have noticed that Bed Bath & Beyond, ticker BBBY, has gone from a $4 stock to an over $28 stock today in less than two weeks. Bed Bath & Beyond has been on an absolute tear. I want to take a couple minutes in this video to look over possible scenarios for this squeeze, compare it to other similar squeezes, a la AMC and GameStop, and talk about why squeezes like this happen in the first place. So hit like and subscribe if you're interested and want more stock market informative type of videos. And let's just go ahead and jump into it. As you can see here, this is not the first move like this for Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond back here went from 18 to 53. Now, when was this? This was in mid-January 2021. What was happening in mid-January 2021? GME was going from $4 to $120. AMC was also following that. Uh, AMC went from 2 to 18. And then, of course, AMC kind of had its own bigger squeeze from 9 to 72. So a lot of stocks took off with GameStop. GameStop was the initial massive retail short squeeze that we've seen over the last year and a half-ish now. It's these dead companies, I mean, GameStop, AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, not to be rude, dead companies that are, for, for obvious reasons, because they're dead companies, loaded with shorts, aka loaded with people betting against the stock borrowing shares of the company, hoping to sell them back at a lower price to make money. When retail recognized this, a lot of people contribute to Wall Street Bets and Reddit for recognizing that there was over 100% of the float of the shares available to trade were shorted. They recognized if bulls could get this thing moving, if bulls could start pushing this stock and other stocks, it will cause those shorts to be forced to cover and as they're forced to cover it increases the buying power and obviously as the as the price keeps going up and keeps rocketing it brings in more bulls attention which also increases the buying power or the buying pressure should i say which makes these stock move but we had gme in late to mid january 2021 we had amc after that and bed bath and beyond followed both of those moves they are called, you know, they're, they're stocks that follow each other, right? Uh, and, and AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, GME, along with a couple of others, Nokia, BlackBerry, uh, Koss, there's a couple of others, Express Clothings, all these dead, heavily shorted companies all sort of started moving together. You can see uh, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond went with GME. You can see it went from 23 to 44 with AMC. This time, though, Bed Bath & Beyond is leading the way. Bed Bath & Beyond is now starting to make its move, right? Kind of like GME made a move, and then AMC made a move. Now it's like Bed Bath & Beyond's turn. Bed Bath & Beyond got some follow, some follow. Now it's kind of leading. As we look, AMC, AMC's making a move too. AMC is following, but from 14 to 24. GME is from 31 to 45. Nowhere near as much as Bed Bath & Beyond's 4 to 28. Uh, so now this time, Bed Bath & Beyond is sort of acting as the leader in the retail, I don't like, I keep using the word dead companies, but you know what I mean. They're, they're heavily shorted companies. Let's put it that way. Short sellers have a lot of conviction with these companies. That's a, that's a better way to say that maybe. And it's, it's, the, it's the leader now of these kind of companies being squeezed. Shorts forced to cover. They have to cover them. There was tons of shorts shorting this all the way down. And to be fair, making money. I mean, the shorts were winning. The shorts from, from 15, 12, 10 even were making money all the way down to five. But now imagine you're short here. You have to cover them. I mean, they're forced to cover up now at 25, 26, 27. That's why the stock starts to accelerate. At one point today, I think it was up over 60% on the day. It's now up over 30%, with a little bit of a pullback, but these shorts are forced to cover, causing these stocks to move, causing these stocks to rip. Now, how can we, the question then becomes, okay, cool trade, that's all fine and dandy. How can I find these stocks, hopefully before they start moving, right? I have a FinBiz list I've created that I will link in the description down below that actually shows you every stock in the stock market with over a reported 30% float. Now, reported float shorts aren't always accurate. That's kind of like the thing with GME and AMC and now Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm not going to dive too much into it, but you know, there, there's 
rumors and reports of, of fake shares being created, synthetic shares being created that are being shorted. Uh, so it's not always perfect, but you still can see that the heaviest shorted stocks in the market, right? TBLT is currently showing a 63% uh, float short. Let's look at TBLT. Has this been getting some movement with the rest of these stocks? It did initially. TBLT did get a move. Actually, I say, I, I was about to say this like it was nothing. TBLT went from two to nine, kind of with the initial move in Bed Bath & Beyond. Of course, it's not leading the way like Bed Bath & Beyond is, so it's selling off recently. But you can look at that list and you can start to get an idea at least. Once again, it might not be fully correctly reported that's a big rumor you know there's a big battle right now going on between retail and wall street when it comes to synthetic shorts and stuff that might be a different video i'm not going to dive too deep into that in this video uh, there's also a ton of content on it already on youtube because retail's so into it so you can look it up if you're confused look up synthetic shorts amc There'll be hundreds of videos, I promise you. Um, but it gives you an idea of these heavily shorted stocks and you can start to, and now I'm not telling you to just go, oh, look, well, it's, it's heavily shorted. I guess I'll go buy it. Please, as with anything, build a strategy around it. But this is data, right? This is data you can now start building a strategy around. Look at, okay, well, any stock that has over a 30% float, float short, according to this FinViz scanner, I'm going to keep an eye on it for a month. And if you start to, you know, while journaling, while backtesting, start to notice that these stocks over 30 days outperform the markets or outperform other stocks, all of a sudden you start to have a strategy and you can start to get in some of these types of squeeze plays before they happen, which is amazing. So uh, we may touch on that more and more later in later videos, but I just want to make sure, you know, I'm not going to make a video. Look at how high Best Buy is going, or Best Buy, I always do that. Look at how high Bed Bath & Beyond is going. All right, have a good one. No, I want to, you know, try to help you guys find moves like this in the future too. Now, let's also look at the AMC and GME squeezes and, and do a little bit of comparison. First thing I want to look at, Bed Bath & Beyond, and this is current too, like if I refresh it, it'll, it'll, it'll refresh itself. Current market cap of Bed Bath & Beyond, 1.3 billion. AMC is at 13.4 billion and so is GameStop. AMC and Games AMC and uh GME are both at 13.4 13.5 billion dollar market caps while Bed Bath and Beyond is still only at 1.3. Bed Bath and Beyond had 1.46 billion dollars in revenue in May 22. Uh AMC this is June but right around the same time 1.17. GME 1.38. They all pull in round about the same amount of money. So can Bed Bath and Beyond, you know, 13, let's call it 12x its market cap, 12x its price in order to get in line with these other two stocks? I'm not going to sit here and tell you that's going to happen. There's no such thing as definitive statements in the stock. So GME or, or Bed Bath and Beyond will do this. Bed Bath and Beyond will do this. Doesn't exist. I don't care what people try to tell you. It doesn't exist. And especially on parabolic stocks like this, it doesn't exist. These are very hard to call, but it's laying that information out for you. AMC and GME are still worth 12x, more than 12x, so like 12 and a half, 12.75x what Bed Bath & Beyond is worth. Worth Can Bed Bath & Beyond, you know, what's, what's 20 times 12.5? Can Bed Bath & Beyond go to $250 a share? That would make it even with AMC and GME. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that insane? That's the price it would need to go to in order to get to AMC and GME's market cap. Once again, while bringing in this roughly same amount of revenue. Now, of course, revenue is far from the only thing that matters. But at a quick glance, uh, isn't that something insane? Now, let's also... Oh my God, Trey said Bed Bath & Beyond to go... Blah, blah, I'm, I'm getting excited. Trey said Bed Bath & Beyond could go to $250. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm all in. Let's also point out the very, very easy possibility that next week... Bed Bath & Beyond is a $6 stock again. That also could easily happen. Look at what happens with these moves, right? They're giant squeezes, of course, but then three days later, four days later, it's back. It's a $10, $10 to $120, just as fast as it went up, if not even faster, bam right back to 10. So please do not get too enamored and, oh my God, this stock is going up. This stock will go up forever. It won't. It, it will pull back. It will return. It will get crushed. These short squeezes do end up getting crushed. They're very, they're very flash pan type moves, right? Bang, bang, uh, AMC, bang, 72, bang. This one took a little bit longer than GME, but all the way back down to $10 where it was. And it, and it went from 72 to, I mean, the next three days later, it was back to 40. That's 
what's that, like 35, 40% of its gains gone right there. So bang, bang, these kind of moves. So please be careful. You know, please understand this is very high risk, very high reward though, these kind of short squeeze plays. Now I also want to look at this. So Trey, well, we're getting a big topping candle today. That's bad, right? This looks really bad for the squeeze, right? Well, let's look. Let's look. When GME started its squeeze, GME went from, let, let's just look at this right here. Does this look familiar? GME went from five to 39, but it closed this day at 19. Absolutely insane day. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah, GME. Okay. Scary, scary topping tail, scary red candle. I guess it's over. Bam. The next three days, it's at $120. Uh, let's look at AMC. AMC, a similar type of story. Let's look right here. Does this look familiar? AMC went from 12 to 36. Okay, big red topping tail, scary candle. The AMC squeeze is over. Okay, whatever. Bam, the next two days, it's from 25 to 72. Does that look at all familiar to what Best Buy currently looks like? Right, Best Buy is currently gone from from about six to 29, and now it's getting a scary topping candle. Okay, boo-hoo, I guess Bed, Bed, Bed Bath & Beyond is done. Is it? I'm not saying it's definitely going higher. I'm not saying it's definitely gonna do anything at all, ever. I will never say a stock is definitely going to make a move. Don't listen to people that do tell you that because they don't freaking know. I promise you they don't as much as they'll make it sound like they do, especially on stocks like this because as you know, as you see, look at how, how just crazy they can get. But really, really wanted to get this video out there. Really wanted to show you guys what was going on. Make sure you knew what was going on. Make sure to give you some very quick brief tips on how you might be able to find plays like this in the future and then compare the moves and the market caps to AME. AME, I'll keep doing that. AMC and GME GameStop squeezes. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the breakdown of this. If you did and you want to see more information about short squeezes, I, I can go a little bit deeper into the synthetic shares conversation. I can go deeper into how to locate short squeezes. We may even be able to do a study where we do some of that back testing, right? Where we study some of these heavily shorted stocks and look at how they perform over a month. Maybe we can start to do that real back testing. I can make content out of that. Let me know in the comment section down below or just by hitting the like button. That's the easiest way. Once again, this list of the heaviest shorted stocks in the market, uh, it is just a Finviz scanner. It's all free. Uh, will be the, the URL will be in the description down below if you want access to this as well. So hit like if you enjoyed the video and want to see more. Hit the red subscribe button to make sure you don't miss the upcoming videos on this topic. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. I will. Catch you all in the next one.